Don't. Don't. Okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, as long as I just one-shot that Fluttermane, I can deal with it. Watch them eruption for some reason. Why would you eruption there? Okay, guys, before we start the video, here is the correct rental code. The one that you're going to see on screen in a couple of seconds during the intro is the incorrect rental code. The Fluttermane had an error on it where it was Terra Water, so I contacted the creator of the team, uh, my buddy Bambi, and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me fix that real quick. So he fixed it. This is the correct code. Do not use that other code because it's not going to work, okay? Anyways, I, I used the wrong team basically for two videos, so next video I'll also be using Terra Water, but it doesn't end up mattering that much. Let's get into it, though. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to their Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Today, we're going to be using this rental team from my good friend Bambi. Uh, the paste and the code are on screen. Or the paste is going to be in the description, but the code is on screen. Pretty interesting. Basically, when he sent it to me, he said, hey, do you want a great tusk that doesn't care about intimidate? And I'm like, okay, do tell. Um, and it was body press and it defense boost. It's, it's pretty interesting. Anyways, we're going to use this today. If you guys enjoy the gameplay and time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's go ahead and rent this thing. So I did try to record with this last night during my live stream, um, but the thing is, Bambi accidentally messed up and gave me a version of the team where the Fluttermane was Choice Specs Protect Terra Grass. Um, it's supposed to be Terra Fairy Choice Specs without Protect, obviously. Uh, so now the team is correct. Now we can use it. As you can see, I took a couple of losses on that team. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to try to uh, get in a Master Ball today. Where did I put that? Here it is. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm not familiar with all the calcs yet. But from what I understand, it's just like, yeah, if it at plus one defense, if you don't one shot, yet two shot with, you know, body press... Um, this thing's defense dead isn't bad, obviously. Um, let's see. So, I mean, Great Tusk isn't terrible here, especially with the sun up. It'll be able to take a uh, jet punch from that Palafin pretty easily. We also do have Terra Fire, Terra Blast, which could be quite useful. Um, I think that leading off with Murkrow is always going to be the correct play, to be honest. As far as anything else in the back, um, I do get a lot of value out of like Gyarados, so I think we're gonna bring Gyarados in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Fluttermane, Gyarados, and Great Tusk, and that should do it. But yeah, uh, what day is today? The second? Yeah, it's the second. So, you know, ladder reset yesterday. We're back into Ultra Ball. All right, see what we can do. We see the Palafin lead with the Iron Hands. Uh, pretty solid. I mean, like, they probably don't want to stay in with the Palafin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Sunny Day here. In case they want to go for some kind of, like, wave crash into me. Oh, my God. There's no chance. He messed up and gave me a Terra Water one. Buddy. You got to get it together. All right. At the very least, it's close to being correct. We're going to roll with it. Um, I wish I was Terra Fairy so much right now. Let's just Dazzling Glade. There's the Amoongus. That's fine. We're going to probably Terra, terra Fire. I'm gonna DM him and be like, bro. The flutter is Terra watered. Alright. So no fake out from them. This should still hit fairly hard. Yeah. For a resisted hit. It did pretty good. Alright, we're gonna get one shot there, which is honestly probably the best outcome for us. That will allow us to take on the uh, the uh, Amoongus this turn with our Great Tusk.
I'm actually going to go ahead and double the Amoongus because I want to make sure we get this KO. I'd imagine the Amoongus always stays in here. Why am I tearing? It's foul play. Terra Fire, Terra Blast. I mean, like, after the foul play, this should just KO. Oh, we're faster than our... Okay, well, now I'm not certain. If there's Citrus Berry, this might not do it. Okay, no, we're good. All right, sick. Cool, this is a decent amount. Thunder Punch. Doesn't quite KO us because the Aviolite. No Paralysis either. Um, and I mean... Versus Palafin, we should be fine. We have the sun up. They already wasted their Terra. We have plus one defense. There's the Chen Pao. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the Chen Pao to be honest, but that defense that defense boost is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna save the Gyarados for the end game. Because I think here, I always just want a Tailwind. Actually, I suppose I can just double this thing. Body Press with KO. I don't know if they want to protect. I don't really need the Tailwind to win. Or do I? Maybe I do need the Tailwind. I'd imagine it's worth it. Here. Tailwind up. Body Press. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to withdraw. This will allow me to intimidate next turn. And with Sun up at minus one with a defense boost, we should be fine. As they try to sucker punch us. Good. Glad I did that. Alright. So here, um, how many turns of sun do I have left? I've got two turns of sun. I need to take full advantage of this. We're going to double that Palafin. I'd imagine at plus one, our body press is stronger than our headlong rush. I could have also swapped in Gyarados, take a little bit less damage, but um, like I said, we're at plus one defense, and yeah, they're going to protect there. Because they jet punch us, that's fine. Gyarados comes in here. We're going to get decent damage. And we still have a turn. That doesn't two-shot. Why am I being lied to in the calcs? Okay. So now we have to double this uh, Palafin and hope it doesn't have protect. Because I really don't want a headlong rush. Oh, that's going to be a really close one. Let me check something real quick. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I really don't want a headlong rush because I could lose off of that. So defense is 172. It's at plus one. Our attack is 163. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go for this. Waterfall head or waterfall body press. Hopefully that does it. I can take a jet punch. Okay, yeah, that does like nothing. I really need this to KO. All right, sweet, nice. Not in a bad position as the uh, the Iron Hands should just drop to a waterfall at this point. So I just double into the Iron Hand slot. We didn't see it if, it if it had fake out or not. Um, I kind of think it doesn't. I think it might just be a Swords Dance variant. Actually, I should probably attack 
like this. Waterfall into you. Yeah, let's just double it. Why not? Who's faster? The Pokemon that's faster matters quite a bit here. 152, 114, okay. So, I do need a Headlong Rush. Cool. To go for the Fake Out doesn't matter. Nice. All right, so we pick up a win. It was it was a little unexpected that the team would still be kind of incorrect, but Terra Water works. We're gonna roll with it. All right, nice. continue here. So two more should get me out of uh, Ultra Ball and then we'll be back into Master Ball. Ultra Ball, in my opinion, all right, so climbing from Ultra Ball to Master Ball is way harder than climbing to top 1000 Master Ball, in my opinion. And it, it's mostly because it's very hit or miss. Like sometimes you'll just face something you've never seen before and because it's close team sheets, best of one, like you just don't have an answer. All right, so Gyarados here looks phenomenal. It really does. My own Tailwind seems almost necessary though. What I'm going to do here is, I actually really like the, um, this combo here. And Gyarados in the back. So no, uh, no great Tusk this game. It's going all out offense. All right, Torkoal Fluttermane. Let's see what the Protosynthesis is. Speed, okay. Um, so let me do some math. We're max speed. Yeah, so we should outspeed because we hit three... 12, something like that, uh, 320 something um, under Tailwind. So I should just be able to Tailwind here and go for the uh, the KO with the Heat Wave. I wish you we were Terra Fire and we could just nuke, but it's whatever. Don't, don't. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, as long as I just one shot that Flutter Main, I can deal with it. Watch them eruption for some reason. Why would you eruption there? It would have done nothing. Okay, well, all right, you know what? We're fine. I would, all right, so the reason eruptioning there isn't very smart is because you're a Torkoal. There's no trick room. You're the slowest thing on the field. And I am a Chi. I'm going to click Heat Wave. If, if you get Heat Waved, that does nothing. All right, luckily, both of our Mons outspeed Scarf Tusk. I just have to not miss another Heat Wave. The only issue is... Um, I don't have Terra Fairy, and that's what I would want to click here, so I just have to Dazzling Gleam and Heat Wave and hope that I get the KO. Yeah. GU, don't miss the Torkoal Challenge. Thank you. All right, and there's there to you. That's just game. Uh, they don't really have an answer. I just go for my D-Gleam. 
heat wave. Sure. Nice. Okay. So that that went pretty quick. That went pretty quick. All right. Do battling here. Alright, one more and we're out of Ultra Ball Hell. I mean, yeah, the team... I think the team functions just fine. I, I don't see any issues with it, to be honest. Um, I think that, generally speaking, offensive... You know, like attack boosting Great Tusk is going to be a little bit better because you have more moves than body press to click with it. But the defensive one is kind of a fun little gimmick. Just into Palafin, it does really well. All right. So this is a Series 1 team. We have Haze on this Murkrow, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. I think just into this team, we do the funny. Let's do this. I mean, even though it's a Series 1 team, we have to keep in mind, it's Don Dozo. If they play well enough, they're going to win. Hero Water here with Sun Up also is pretty decent. I'll be able to take, like, wave crashes. Okay. So this is a little bit concerning. Um, I think I actually get a lot of value out of just going for foul play plus uh, shadow ball. Into you. But unless they want to tear it early, I don't think that they can KO this Fluttermane. This also depends on how fast that Arcanine is though. Are they going to tear normal immediately, or are they tear flying? They're going to tear normal immediately. I mean, I can eat that. I would imagine I can eat that, actually. I'm not entirely certain with, like, my Murkrow. Oh, they're going to double E-speed? Hello? Alright. Um, in all likelihood, that is Choice Banded, so... Terra Ghost here looks really good on the Chiyu. Yeah, losing those guys early really sucks, actually. Actually, wait, no, I'm Terra Grass, aren't I? But I can bait out the hit. Yeah, I'm Terra Grass. Does the pace say Terra Ghost? Is this team entirely wrong? No, it's Grass. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Let's just protect here. Shadow Ball you. Yeah, I did not see the double E speed coming. This is also not a bulky uh, guy, so he's not going to eat it very well. Rocky Helmet Amoongus does seem really solid, though. Imagine if I tear a ghost to that turn. <laughs> on the, uh, on the... Specifically, I'm talking about my, um... Silly, goofy Pokemon. Alright, let's go Amoongus. Um... 
I think now I I don't want to Terra Water yet because I don't know if they want to. I don't know if they want to, you know, swap swap out the Dragonite yet. I can only Terra Water once that Dragonite's off the field safely. Cool. Should do a decent amount. About half. Special Defense drops pretty huge too. As they're not choice banded. Okay. Good to know. And they wave crash. Can I? I don't eat that. Pretty sure. Oh, I do eat that. Okay. Huge. Huge, actually. Huge. Uh, ginormous, in fact. So, I mean, here it's just a dead giveaway that, um... It's just a dead giveaway that their last Pokemon is going to be that... Oh, wait. Okay, I can't Rage Powder away E-Speed, but it doesn't matter. Because E-Speed can't hit Fluttermane, so I just Rage Powder Shadow Ball. Yeah, nothing switches in on this. They have to just lose their Dondozo in a turn or two. But unless they're Outrage, they don't beat this. Maybe they're like safety goggles. Imagine if they're safety goggles. That'd be insane. Cool. That still bounces off of us. He still takes a lot of damage. We're fine. What would actually be super cool here is if they swapped out the Dondoza for the Tatsugiri. Okay, cool. So that tells me they're probably Scarf Tatsu. I think that's pretty much a given in this situation. Nice little spit F drop. Okay. So my play here, if I want to win, is I have to assume that they're Scarf and that they're going to outspeed my Flutterman and that they want to go for a Muddy Water. So I have to protect here and just attempt to get this KO. Oh, interesting. I don't see how that helped them. The spec Shadow Ball should just KO. And I get Regenerator here. Because I'm going to swap out my, my Amoongus. Something else that I can do if I'm really, really ballsy is I can just assume that my Shadow Ball KOs from this range without the Beads of Ruin. And I can try to go for a Spore onto that Tatsugiri to guarantee a win. I don't know if I'm willing to do that. I get a lot more just by getting Chiyu in, to be honest. KO's nice.
Now, I always scout for the Scarf, so I'm going to protect here. And go for the Shadow Ball. See if they move before my guy. Dream speed and protect. Hoping it's Sash. Alright, cool, it's Sash. That's a win. Cool. So now we always win by just going for the uh dark pulse. Swapping in the Amoongus. And then on the next turn, we go for Specs, Moonblast, and Rage Powder. Because they're going to always take Rocky Hummet damage. It's on the mid range. As they decide not to E speed, which is pretty interesting. What if they're Roost? They flinch. Okay, we never, we'll never know. We'll never know. All right. Um, my play here is Dark Pulse, Spore. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got out of Ultra Ball Hell, which is honestly all I really wanted out of this session. Uh, you know, it, it could, it could have gone a little bit better. Could have gone a little bit better. A lot of the games were like close, you know. Um, but I, I think it was overall just a pretty fun team. I think I'm going to continue to use this team next session. Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, actually, let's go ahead and just see that Master Ball rank real quick. Nice. 870. Not a bad tier. All right. So with that, I'm going to call it, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.